I'm sorry about the noise in the background, but I'm going to show you how to cut your exhaust back. First of all, I got other videos. I did just paint the plastics. This was uh, different colors, and I got them on uh, eBay for um, five bucks because they were damaged in the wrong color. So you see this little crack here. I'm going to fiberglass the back, DA the front, and repaint it when I have time. But that's for another video. Um, this video, um, I, I messed up and I started doing it. And I'm going to be stunting out bikes. This channel, I'm going to show you guys how to build cages, 12 bars, um, emergency brakes on the handlebars. So if you're going to flip over, you don't need your foot down here. I'm going to show you how to put a... This is going to be your rear brake secondary. You're going to have two rear calipers in a small little clutch. So when you clutch it up, bop, 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 and then if you're going to flip, bop, right down. So anyways, I'm going to do that. We're going to build a cage to protect the motor area here. I flipped a bike, and I'm going to post um, a video about that experience as well because it's not all fun and games in this, guys you do get hurt and I lost all the skin on my legs my hands my feet my shoulder my face I broke some bones and I got banged up but um, I healed and I'm smarter and I wear wear gloves hands suck for road rash and um, anyways I'm gonna show you guys how to do this stuff do it right you don't want to build a cage dump your bike and then have your cage fall apart and your motor gets smashed. I want to show you how to build a cage that you can lay your bike on the ground and blow donuts, you know, and um, we're going to build a small little setup down here, here, and then here, and a little here, and then we're going to do a nice bar that comes off the frame here. This way, in a wheelie, you come up, bop, and then it'll tap and come down. If it dumps on the side, the contact, we call them contact points. We're going to want the contact points here, here, and here, and here to be all the same height so that the bike will land flat and not bend the frame. We want it to land, right? We want all three contact points to land, hit, and stay straight. So we're going to show you guys how to not smash your bikes and then we're going to teach you how to ride them We got a crew of tons of people. I just got invited to it and I'm grateful. These guys are awesome There's about seven eight hundred people in this crew and they're like legit when they say let's do a ride 15 to 50 people show up um, These guys are awesome and you'll get to know them as well. Hopefully I'm going to do up some of their bikes. I know my yard's a mess right now, guys. I got cars I'm working on. I got to buff this one, uh, the clear coat. This one had a rust hole. I took care of it. I got a my blend mark. I got a wet sand buff. And I know I'm getting off subject here, but just showing you. It's not normally a mess. So these videos are going to be very good. So the caliper, we're going to mount a second caliper up here. So that'll be your handbrake. So if you're going to flip over like me, I broke my ankle. I can't lift my foot enough to be standing up riding a wheelie. Or, you know, when it's most important, when you're double back pegging and you're going to flip, you can tap that brake lever. So, um, so we drilled out these ahead of time. I didn't make it on the video. We're going to drill these. And then I put a piece of masking tape that gives you a straight line and stops you from scratching your exhaust, whether it's carbon fiber, chrome, whatever it is. I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to finish cutting this line. We're going to pull out the baffles, put in as much as you want back into this piece. Make sure you're past the hanger. And then we're going to put this piece back in the hole and we're going to put the band back in. And you can either pop rivet it or I got some awesome stainless steel tech screws you can get chrome red white black whatever you want to do or you can put pop rivets so i'll be right back all right guys now that i made the cut 
like I said, the tape not only gives you a straight line, because if there's no bubbles in the tape, the tape's straight. Now we got a nice straight line. We got the exhaust cut. You can see it's barely hanging. I just wanted to show you guys. And now, if you have end caps from somebody else, you have another six inch exhaust. Or if this ends up getting broken, you have a backup piece. And it sucks because realistically, I should have drilled those out and slipped this on there and I would have had the sticker, but fuck the sticker. So this is carbon fiber. And then inside we have the baffles, which are dampened by all of this insulation. So if we pull half of this insulation out, we'll get a lot better sound. If we pull it all out, we'll get really good sound. Now the police, when they check um, for the states that do not allow doing this, they stick a pipe or a little rod inside and they feel around to see if this is in there. So a good trick is to take this leave this in pull all this crap out put it back together and they will think your baffles are still in there and um i get away with it quite a bit and not telling you guys how to do illegal stuff i'm just telling you if you want to do something um that cannot be checked on so much that's the way to do it all right listen i'm gonna peel the tape i'm gonna pull out this crap and i'll be back And one more thing, if you grab it and do like like this, nice and easy, and then grab another section, because this stuff is packed in there. That's how they get rid of the noise. Nice and easy. I should have did a before and after, too, because this bike was so quiet, I was scared to drive it. Now, one of the reasons I do this is so that people know that I'm behind them or I'm coming around a corner, because it's scary when somebody doesn't hear you coming and they pull right out in front of you, I want to make sure that I'm well heard. Um, so, again, that's one of my main reasons for doing this, honestly. It's not to sound like an ass and be loud. And Some exhausts are not, like, see how this is coming out nice and good in one piece? Some exhausts will not come out like this. Literally, it's like uh, cotton packed in there. And you'll need to take like a coat hanger and make a hook on the end. And when you do that, you can insert the coat hanger with the hook, wind up a bunch of shit and pull it out. And keep doing it and uh, until you get as much as you want. You can take it all out, take half of it out. You know, um, one good thing that I used to do back before I really started getting heavy into this. Look at I mean, we got mountains of this stuff. It's like seaweed. But what I used to do is pull out half and then start the bike, see what it sounded like. Pull out a little more and then get the sound that I was looking for and then um, get to the point where you like it, put it back together and be done. Um, but this bike, I'm going for all of it. Right now, I'm in a state where there's no inspection, so. Um, the other thing that I might do um, as a secondary is, I was thinking, I don't know I, if it's a good idea, but I, I like trying stuff. And while we're modding this bike, let me finish cleaning this out and I'll uh, start putting it back together. Um, so, this is the cap. And I messed up, but I'll show you. We're going to wet sand and buff that. Get the scratch out. I messed that up. I dropped it. Anyways, we're going to drill out these rivets. Make sure they're all the way out, as you can see. And that way... Um, and actually... Yeah, I'm going to have to drill them out. So I'm going to drill those out. Pack that in the hole like this. Um, and once I get that in there, nice... And, you know, now this is the uh, pipe. This is what they feel for when they check it. You know, this is how long the exhaust used to be, just to give you an idea. So we took that much off. And this tape will come off when we're done, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, one thing I forgot to mention. This is going to be a bitch, because it's very tight to get it back in place, as you can see. It almost looks like it's a quarter inch too big. It's not. What I do is I get it started 
I take a block of wood. Don't ever beat on this because you're going to make more scratches. Normally, you should wrap this in masking tape, and that way any scratches goes on the tape. I'm going to polish this and make it shine again because it's black and disgusting. Look at my hands. So I'm going to make this look brand new anyway, so I'm not overly worried about it. Plus, this is going to be a beater bike. Um, but block of wood on here, block of wood on here. Get it where you want it and then tap it down with a block of wood and that should get it pretty much started. I can almost do it with my hands. Um, I don't have a tripod with me. If I did, I would do it all in video, but I'm gonna beat this around a little, get it started, and I'll show you. All right, guys, I used a rubber mallet instead of wood this time, but either way, now we're gonna peel the tape. Get that uh, tape off of there. Boom. Now, we're going to put the trim ring, screw it, and we now have a 6-inch baffle-free exhaust. I know my AC is a little loud, guys. It's a pain in the ass. And I might overlay this with music and not have sound. Just do uh, text. I haven't decided yet, but we got a lot of good videos to come. And not only bikes, but I'm going to try to do some um, stereo equipment. My wife's Armada. Um, I clear-coated. I got a couple runs. I wet sanded, I'm going to buff that, and again, off subject, but when we get this sold and we buy our new car, we're going to put 15-inch monitors all the way down, computers, Android operating systems, you'll see it's going to blow your mind. That's going to be part of a video. Um, like I said, I painted the tail, if you guys see these rusted screws, I took some screws and I dipped them in the car paint. And now I'm going to dip them in the clear coat, and they have bigger heads, so they'll look better. They'll hide any imperfections. It's everything from bikes, cars, um, high-performance stereo, chain, sprockets, everything. We're going to do it all. All right, guys. This is Matt Greenwoods. I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to put the trim ring on. It goes right around here. You want to hide the flap. See how this and this overlap? You want to put that in the back somewhere. Don't make that visible. And you're, This is stainless steel. Don't forget. It's a very hard metal. So using self-tappers, it's going to be a bitch. I'm not going to lie. Um, same with using um, pop rivets. So you can either pre-drill, um, get your first one started. But like I said, you're going to want to hide the seam. So get it where you want it. Like if this is it and you're going to cover up everything, get that first one started and then use that as your starting point and then like that'll hide my seam on the bottom I'm okay with that so I'll drill that hole put a screw and then I'll go from there alright guys I don't have a tripod right now and I wish I did because I would really love to show you this actually isn't as bad as I thought on this one I have had some though that are so bad you can't even do it um, let me see if I can do this. Hold on, I'm going to put the phone down. I'm just using a DeWalt Impact with a 5 16 And I might change them out. I don't know. I kind of like the way they look. We'll see when it's done. But, boom. Second one's in. Okay, all done. Boom. We now have a 6-inch exhaust, guys. Um, I'm going to scotch bright the crap out of this to get rid of all that black and crap. And then polish it I will wet sand out those scratches um, usually just the scotch bright and polish will keep it clean but I kind of scratched it and made some mistakes rushing I got a lot going on I shouldn't even be doing this video right now but I wanted to kill some time and get some things done I gotta buff that car so I figured I might as well make a video because I always end up doing these projects and I never video them and then I can never upload them so Kudos guys, we now have a 6 inch exhaust.